Hey guys, welcome back to another DPS training video. Today we're going to be going through Sightworks, and I'm going to walk you through how to measure a point, how to delete a point, and then how to stake a point out. Okay, first thing is we're going to do this top left menu on the top left of your screen, those three lines. We're going to hit that, and then we're going to hit Project Setup, and then we're going to hit Change Project. So what we're doing is we're going to make sure we're in the right work order, because remember, whatever we do happens in a work order, and that information is saved in that work order. So if I do all my measuring, say, manholes on the site calibration work order, the next guy won't maybe know that manholes are saved there. He might not, he'll be like, man, where are the manholes at? And because I saved them in the wrong work order or work order that doesn't make sense. So I'm going to change the work order here because right now we're in site calibration and I'm going to change it to manholes. And we're going to keep the design and we're going to accept that. All right, now that I've opened up the correct work order that I want to measure in, you'll see at the very top, it'll say measure mode. The top center, right by my Chick-fil-A Kaiser job, it'll say measure mode. So I know that I'm in the measuring mode and I can take shots. Now there's going to be a little plus sign at the very bottom right. That's what I want to hit when I want to measure a point. So I'm going to want to make sure that I'm plumb, I'm right over the shot, whatever I want to shoot, say it's a manhole, a clean out, or maybe a hub that I'm about to destroy. We're going to make sure we're level on it, and then we're going to hit the plus sign. And you can also hit the enter key on your QWERTY keyboard if your um, data collector has a keyboard. All right, so I'm going to hit the plus button. Here it's going to ask for the, what point name do you want. Here I'm going to call it manhole2. Um, it also has a point code. You can add this if you want to differentiate between, say, a manhole2 and a cleanout, or manhole2, and for whatever reason, typically we don't use point codes. And then your point type, I'm going to leave that as surface, and then show every time yes. All that means is every time I hit the plus, it's going to pop this menu up and give me the option to rename it. So you don't want this to happen every time. The system does have a cool feature where it will automatically add a number chronologically to your name. So say if I just said, I do not want to show this every time, and then I hit accept, every time I hit the plus button, it would just go manhole 3, manhole 4, manhole 5 automatically. But it wouldn't give me the option to rename it. Um, there's a way to go back and change it, but typically I just leave this, say, show me this option every time in case I want to name it something weird. All right, so we're going to accept that. You're going to hear a sound. It's going to go boop or some sort of sound if your um, volume's up. And that lets you know you took a shot. Another way to know is if you took a shot is you're going to want to zoom up a little closer. So I'm going to hit this plus button. And I'm going to hit the um, find me icon. That's going to be the very top square with a dot in the center. That just means find center on me. And so we're going to zoom up close enough. And as you can see, I have a manhole 2 shot. And it gives me the true elevation of 155,943. That lets me know that the shot was successful. Now, let's say I accidentally took that shot, or I took it and I wasn't quite level, or maybe my rod height was off, or something was goofy, and I need to actually say, ooh, I need to delete that point. That point is not correct. What we're going to do is hold on to the point, and it's going to pop up these options. You're going to have your point information all the way down to your stake point. We're going to look for delete point and hit it. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to delete this point? And in this case, we are sure, so we're going to say yes. And that point's gone forever. So that's only if you want to delete a point. Now, this is very easy to do. I mean, anyone can delete a point. So obviously, you don't want to go crazy on deleting points or deleting lines. But it is an option if you want to get rid of some bad information, say, or you want to do some more accurate shots. OK, now I'm going to walk over to um, another manhole. And we're going to take a shot. And then we're going to stake that shot and show you how to, say, find something that's buried or a shot later on. Let's say I want to stake out manhole 1. Perhaps it's buried and we don't know where it is exactly and we need to dig it out. I want to stake it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to that point, just like we held on to manhole 2. But in this case, we're going to stake it out. And these options are going to come up. And I'm going to want to hit stake point. And right away, there's going to be a green line tethered to me and to the point. And there's going to be some instructions at the top right saying, how far to go and in which direction to get to this point. Here it's saying go northwest 14 feet, and there's going to be an arrow. So if I know where true north is, that can help me out considerably, or I can just watch my map and kind of walk myself over it like a video game. Um, once you get close to it, that, that arrow will turn into like crosshairs, as you can see. And it's saying, OK, you're fairly close, and they're going to get you zeroed in on that point. So I'm going to get right on top of this guy and leveled out. And the nice part is I'm actually sitting on a manhole that is to grade. So it lets me know, hey, you're right at grade. You're right on top of this point. Sometimes you may be over a buried cleanout or something, a buried utility. 
and it's going to give you a cut typically to that utility or to that clean out. And so you can actually record that information down for an operator. Say it says like a cut of two and a half feet. You could point, you could paint it out, and they can give. It can be very helpful for an operator to find it, or just perhaps for you to dig it out and find this point. Now, say you want to get back into the measure mode. Um, you're done staking out, and you want to get out of this mode because that stake mode at the very top is letting you know what mode you're in. We want to get back to measure mode. So perhaps we want to take more shots, or we just want to get rid of this, this all this information that's screaming at us. The best way to do that is you're going to hit the top three lines, your menu on the top right, and you're going to hit measure. That's going to take you right to measure mode, and now you're back to kind of your, your typical map. You're going to get your cuts and fills and your true elevation. Um, this is going to be your best mode, I'd say, for just using the rover and walking around, but in order to switch back to stake mode, you can highlight a point and go to stake mode, and or you can use the menu option as I just showed you. And that'll do it for our measure, delete, and stakeout point with SiteWorks.